When was the last time you shaved your butthole, Rick? Never. Oh, wow. I Must have... be a hairy, stinky jungle down there. I have never shaved my butthole. Gross. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. <laughs> it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Oh, natural in the sphincter area. Ew. Uh, today, we got a little uh, video. This is actually a... Did you shave you your butthole? I'm not talking about this, Rick. You brought it up. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> you do, don't you? No. I wax it. Mm. Do you? Warm. Have you ever gotten it bleached? I am white enough. Thank you so much. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but have you heard... That, and uh, I've never bleached my butt. <laughs> Thank you. We were all wondering. Yeah, well, you brought up the shaving. Uh, have you heard... Uh, Bird the, is the word? Yeah. Yes. The whole thing that um, Steven Spielberg stole Sasha e. Rye's E.T. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually, he did. He stole his E.T. and never gave it back. How dare he? And Sachi Rai was looking all over. So this is actually a little video. Just when E.T. says home, he's thinking Kolkata. Uh, mystery behind E.T., of the the, the ah, Steven Spielberg, unlike and, the mystery of I think E.T.'s actually, behind, I think it actually has some of such as right talking about it about E.T.'s behind. Yes. Wow. Does E.T. shave his sphincter? No hair. Hairless sphincter wonder. Anyways, here we go. award-winning movie, E.T., the extraterrestrial, left everyone spellbound. Did you see it in theaters? But did you know I that did. it was inspired from the script of Cried Indian like Indian a baby. Maker. Was your first thought your rifle? director, Satyajit Ray, had penned out the first ever script on aliens in 1967, named The Alien. Many ideas in The Alien are in E.T., and there were mimeographed copies of my screenplay in Hollywood, hundreds of them at Columbia. Lots of people have read the screenplay. And there was a little news item in a Los Angeles paper. Some Indian boy had read the script and seen E.T. and he gave out to the press that Mr. Steven Spielberg has stolen ideas from Satyajit Rai. The screenplay was based on his Bengali science fiction story, Banku Babur Bandar published in Ray's family magazine, Sandesh. Ray even went to Hollywood to materialize the project and Columbia Pictures had agreed to produce it. With Peter Sellers and Marlon Brando as leads, oh, the shit. Wow. co-production was on board. A fiction story called The Alien. Screenplay, full screenplay, which was supposed to be financed by Columbia. That is why I spent five weeks in Hollywood. In connection with that, it's only that I had a person who was working as a middleman. Music. Yeah, that's weird background music. And the idea had to be dropped. Thus, due to uncertain issues, unfortunately, Ray got disillusioned with the project. Nearly 20 years later, Steven Spielberg came up with E.T. in 1982. Both E.T. and Ray's alien looked similar in appearance with slow moving hands. The concept of friendly aliens was replicated. Both aliens had healing powers and could make plants bloom. And the list of similarities goes on. Plagiarism charges were raised against Spielberg, but he outrightly denied it. Did he claim to write E.T. though? It Did, is believed you know? that this was one of the main reasons he just directed it? underperformance at Oscars. I think it was his, the story was his idea. I don't, he didn't write the screenplay. Satyajit Ray wrote in detail about his audio in the book Travails with the Alien, the film that was never made. Rumors claim that it is the guilt that made Spielberg recommend Ray's name for Academy Awards. In 1992, legendary Satyajit Ray became the only Indian director to receive the Academy Honorary Award. Until S.S. Roger Mooley. One of the greatest filmmakers of all the time, he was not just a remarkable writer come director, but also an exceptional illustrator and music composer.
filmmakers across the globe are still in awe of his astounding creations and remember him as one of the world's greatest directors. I would like to read. I don't know if it's available. I'm sure it's not, right? Um, but he said he talked about it in, in uh, extensively. But I would love to read his screenplay for The Alien. Yeah, that's what I would like to see. I would actually like to see the screenplay and find out how closely it approximates it rather than just be told by somebody else, yeah. here's what's in it. Okay, I, I want to read the source material. That would give me a far better 100% certainty of inclination of what's going on there. Yeah, because obviously, and I'm not saying it's not obviously such as Rye would know better than I would. <laughs> so, um, but obviously sometimes people um, claim, you know, patriotism or copying when something is just similar. vaguely similar. Right. Um, I'm not saying that's what ha not what happened, obviously. It's very possible they read it and then he was like, oh, well, I'm going to create something very, very similar to this. Right. I'm, uh, I'm looking up screenplay. For the credits think, for yeah. E.T. Um, good grief. It should be right there. Extra Let's just look up Spielberg. And then we'll go to his filmography. There we go. Filmography. Boink. I don't know, we have to go back many, 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 many years. Many a moon. Yes. Um, good gracious. All of the stuff he has in development because he produces too. Okay, back, back, back. Was it 80? Uh, oh, good grief, 2012. It was an 80-something, right? Yeah. There we go, 72. Now we can move forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's that special thanks? What is that? Yeah, those are the special thanks. Okay, exec that's TV. Jaws should be soon. Yeah, this is TV, so we have to get into the film. There we go. No. TV is usually a different section. Ja ja there we go. Jaws, Close Encounters, Blues Brothers, Indiana Jones, Poltergeist, E.T. I got, e. it. I got, it, right got it. it. And filmmakers. Writers, Melissa. Matheson. Matheson. Yep. Yeah, so so my <laughs> obviously Spielberg's not one to need to steal somebody's idea. Obviously. Clearly not. <laughs> he, um, it's possible he she wrote something, whether she read it or not, I don't know. Uh, but obviously, if such it rises, there were hundreds of copies of his thing around specifically at Columbia. Yeah, it's very plausible that somebody read it, and it's plausible that, that someone read that it. Somebody and... stole it, or just decided, ah, no one's going to notice as Indian director. <laughs> it's possible. I have no clue. Yeah. Uh, it, it, he said he wrote about it in his book, so that'd be interesting to read, huh? Because um, obviously, such it Rai would know <laughs> more. Well, <laughs> especially how if, like, similar are are those things, and uh, yeah, I mean, if if it's just because he obviously Satyajit Sat Rai wasn't the first person to come up with the concept of an alien no, story, he was the first one ever. So there were no science fiction before this. Actually. Yeah, none whatsoever. None. Well, no one even knew aliens possibly existed. Nope. Prior to this? Nope. Such uh, Rye created them all. Got it. Good job, Mr. Rye. Was he also responsible for the building of those temples? Yes. Thought so. Yes, he was. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you've read the book or, or you know something interesting about that... Or have a, access like where we could find a copy of the script. I would have loved to. If there's so many copies that are out there. I mean, how cool would that have been, though? Like, if this would have came to fruition... His film, Marlon oh, Brando. Yeah, with Brando and Peter Sellers. Good like, grief. And directed by Sachit Rai. That be that would open a whole new whole world. world for people. Like Indian cinema would have been opened a lot sooner. A very, very different I wonder what happened. Obviously, he said there was uh, some body that, was, that kind of made the project fall through. Yeah. Uh, but that but, Marlon Brando with Sachit Rai about an alien? Well, I've seen the photo of those guys together. That would have been cool. So... Huh? Um, yeah, also, hats off. I mean, <laughs> Brando had some uh, some problems of his own, but the uh, the hats off to him for like being like, oh, I want to work with Sacha well, Rai. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. If you're a, if you're a lover of the art form, and, and he Brando <laughs> was, yeah, so was, was Peter Sellers. They were both consummate actors and lovers of the craft. So that was so sad though. I know. Kind of robbed the of things that, that could have been. <laughs> that yeah, been the awesome. things that could have been. That would have been amazing. Dude, like a sci-fi movie. No, Sachin and the Rye. person to ask about this isn't Steven Spielberg. The person to ask about this is Melissa Matheson. Where'd she get the idea for the script? Yeah, that's the person to ask. He reads scripts and she's like, I want to direct this. Right. It's not really. 
him. I guarantee, yeah, I'm sure when he said no clue that this could have been based on Sajid Rai's script, I'm pretty sure that just because there was, you know how many scripts circulate in Hollywood that everybody does not read? Mm. So it's yeah. very plausible that Spielberg didn't know. But it's also... But Melissa Matheson either knew secondarily or... Like I said, we, we might be able to find it online. We just could possibly search, find it, read it, and see how similar it is. Maybe it is. Yeah. Copy for copy. and Could be. Who knows? Yeah, it could be. Um, a... And then that's why Bollywood started remaking all of Hollywood's films. Exactly. F Revenge. It's so, so sweet. Revenge of the bootlickers. <laughs> Anyways, so if you have any information, you can let us know. And uh, obviously, which will be our next such shit rye film uh, that we should watch. Please let us know down below.